on this week's KSP News Show. After a short break, KSP News is back on the scene with some amazing news about Point 25, including more details about the elusive administration building. And possible new Mark III parts revealed by Squad? That's all here on this week's KSP News Show. <laughs> Reporting live from the Kerbal Space Center, it's your host, Jim Lee Kerman! Good morning, evening and afternoon my fellow Kerbinauts, my name is Jin Lee Kerman. After a short break from my holiday, I am back and I am giving you the latest Kerbal Space Program news, including some interesting details about the administration building in Point 25. So let's get into these new details about the administration building. It's tiny, tiny tidbits of information. Um, for example, Mike, otherwise known as MU, he says he's been working on some of the back-end systems for it, so like the foundations of the code and stuff like that. And while he's been waiting for the front-end systems, so like the UI and stuff like that, to be further along in their development cycle, he has been working on a new logging system for the, the intrepid astronauts, as he calls them. I will link these dev notes down below for you to check out, but I think these are very cool. Um, Miguel, otherwise known as Max Maps, he's quickly becoming one of my favourite Kerbal Space Program developers. He says he's running, he's organising and running through his plan, or the develop te development team's plan for 0.25. He says everything is going far, going so far according to, sit to schedule. Having Hugo around has been great, I will come to that in a minute. And he can tell that he has a bright future ahead in the industry. Also, and here's the key bit, a friendly reminder that people who talk about the admin building early will be fed to the company Tyrannosaurus. So guys, that's one of the big things about the administration building. T-Rex confirmed for Squad Studios, 100% confirmed by Max Maps right there. But other than that, it's basically just that they've started putting in some new, new back-end systems for it, but I should, I'm perfectly certain that within the next few weeks or so, we will definitely see a reveal as to what the administration building does. Because I'm very interested to know, because it seems like at the moment that the science, the R&D facility is kind of an administration building at the same time. Sort of couple that with the new mission control building that came in with first contracts. They're kind of, they kind of deal with all the paperwork size, so like the contracts and all the science archives and stuff like that. Like I said in the last episode, maybe they're going to move them over to the administration building, the science archives, and maybe not the contracts, because otherwise the mission control building would not really have a purpose. But yeah, leave my leave your all suggestions down below in the comments. Um, I want to know what you think. What do you think that the administration building could be used for? Moving on, and kind of linking in with what I've just said, um, Hugo which is one of the developers, well he was, wasn't really a proper developer, he was an intern who was working at Squad over the summer holidays over in Mexico. He's recently left the Kerbal Space Program dev team just because summer is over for him and so his internship at Squad is over. Um, which is kind of sad really because he's been a really, really, uh, he's been a nice, fun, loving developer of Kerbal Space Program and I remember, I know that yesterday that they were out having drinks and pizza and stuff like that to say goodbye to him and well, it wouldn't really be a very, a very good farewell if they didn't showcase some of the work that Hugo has been putting in to Point Two Five. And that's exactly what Squad did. Last night they revealed the new parts that Hugo has been working on. And, well, well, I'm not 100% sure if they're new parts or not, or if they're just upgrades of current parts. I will put the image on the screen for you now. BAM! There you go. Those are, what I believe to be anyway, the new version of the Mark III cockpit and fuel tank. Now, in case you don't know already, the Mark III cockpit and fuel tank at the moment are kind of like out there on their own. They're meant to be like space heavy space plane parts, so space shuttle-esque sort of cockpit and fuel tank to really make your space make large SSTOs slash space planes. But really, because of the shape that they are and the awkward like attachment points for them. 
they're kind of useless at the moment and plus the Mark III cockpit doesn't actually have a proper internal. So what I think Hugo has done, he's remodelled and retextured the new the Mark III cockpit and fuel tank and basically what's come up here, it's just flat out amazing. I'm not even going to lie there, that, that what he has created looks so just awesome. And I just want to thank Hugo so much for doing that and for his time, his albeit brief, his albeit t brief time on the Kerbal Space Program dev team because I know <laughs> I've loved reading his dev notes for what he's put. And um, yeah, I, go I wish you the best of luck Hugo if you watch this and what you have made looks very nice. I would say perhaps if there was one criticism of the new parts that the roof perhaps is a bit high on the... Um, on the front of the cockpit there, it looks kind of like a train, a train cockpit, but hey, who knows, that could be something else that you could do in Kerbal Space Program. Trains confirmed for Kerbal Space Program? I somehow doubt it, but who knows, you guys can come up with some amazing things that I'll never be able to build. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Mark III cockpit. And finally, just before I leave you, I want to give you a quick update as to how the Kerbal Polar Expedition, as hosted by HOC Gaming, or otherwise known as HAV, actually went, because in case you didn't know, it was a, a series of live streams between August 6th and August 10th where HOC Gaming, otherwise known as HAV, went to drive from the Kerbal Space Center to the North Pole in a buggy that he had built. Now, his original goal was somewhere around $10,000 just over. He actually managed to double that amount and he managed to get around $22,000 five hundred and twenty eight dollars I believe it's in the ticker tape at the bottom of the screen in case you haven't seen um, I just want to say a very big congratulations to Harv for raising this amount of money for charity it is a very good cause that are going to but I also want to tell you guys that you can still donate I will leave a link to the donate the donation page down below um, so you guys can go donate to Harv's very worthy cause I know I put a couple of quid down and I think you should as well because it is a very worthy cause. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this week's KSB News Show guys. I'm sorry it was a bit short again, but we, the news has been rather thin on the ground as of, as of late. But hopefully in the next couple of weeks we will have a lot more details regarding 0.25 and this elusive administration building. But until then, I'm Jin Lee Kerman. This has been Kerbal Space Program News Show. Remember to like and subscribe for more, but until then... Stay classy.